Well, so far the first two items, definitely useful. Just not really interested in the author in general. A little bit too young YA skewing for me. Oh, it's, oh, I don't really like the, oh, it's a, oh, okay. Hello, white angels. What a beautiful day to unbox a fairy loot box. August fairy loot came, which means that we're gonna unbox it right now because that's what we like doing. Sharp thing that I always use. So it's August. Um, we did skip the July fairy loot unboxing. Uh, I did film it, but obviously you guys know stuff has been going down and we will just end up going through it when I do the book box battle, which will be eventually because I still haven't even done March's one. But I've had the toughest year of my life, which some of you don't know or don't care about, but it's all good. Uh, I know a lot of you do care about it, especially people on my Patreon, so we're all good. Tell me lies, the August fairy loot unboxing. I don't know what's coming in this box. Uh, I don't remember, I've not been keeping up with anything. This is new. This is a jewelry box. This has like this like sun intricate applique thing on it. It's like velvet, um, quite solid. Let's open it up and see if there's any like structure inside. Oh, lovely, okay, so there is, it's actually quite hard to see, but you can see it in the sun. There is bits where you can put rings in. There's a little like pouch up here. I've actually been wanting kind of something like this for taking jewelry with me when I've gone places. Cause when I went home for graduation, I had to like wrap my earrings in like bubble wrap so that I couldn't lose them. And this is small enough that like, that's compact. You could take that with you in a suitcase or a bag. No idea where the actual like, applique or like artist from there's a sun on it which immediately makes me think black sun or shadow and bone but we will see on the spoiler card when we're done but um that's quite cool also i don't know if you guys know well you probably do if you are a subscriber of fairy loot but i got an email the other day basically with fairy loot saying they're going from five items to four similar to how illumicrate did good several months ago now i want to say at least like eight months ago or something illumicrate decided to do that due to like rises in costs due to covid the war in Russia, between Russia and Ukraine. I can't even see it, my, say my R's, Russia and Ukraine, and literally just everything going on in the world in general, like everything is rising in price. Or they don't wanna raise the price of their box, so they're just getting rid of an item instead, and hopefully focusing on quality instead of quantity. We shall see. It remains to be seen. I don't know if that's true for this box, because they only sent the email the other day, so I assume that box is going forward past this box. I could not tell you. I could go check the email, but I can't be bothered. We have, I think this is a tote bag, which to be honest, uh, I have enough tote bags, but I like to swap between them. This has books on it, which actually I really, really like. I don't actually have like a bookshelf tote yet. I have lots of different ones with like artwork from specific books in it, but not like a very you know, broad one. I'll read out all of the series that are on here for you. So we have These Violent Delights, but not its sequel, weirdly, just that by itself. Once Upon a Broken Heart, an Ember in the Ashes series, From Blood and Ash by itself. So yeah, so we have all four of the Ember in the Ashes series, but then These Violent Delights by itself and From Blood and Ash by itself. We have Strange the Dreamer by itself, The Winter Night Trilogy, the whole trilogy. We have Law. We have the Caraval trilogy. We have Kingdom of the Wicked by itself. We have the Spin in the Dawn duology, a Shatter Me trilogy, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Sorcery of Thorns, Six Crimson Cranes, Serpent and Dove by itself, the Dave of Ad trilogy, Jade Fire Gold, the Ray Bearer duology, and the Red Rising trilogy, nice. And then it's the same on the other side. So they're, they are the same both sides. I actually don't have this color tote yet. I don't have anything like this. It's kind of like weirdly tall if that makes sense. Like it's not a square, it's like a rectangle, which I don't think I actually have a tote like this shape really. Oh, I like the bottom, the bottom kind of has like a proper bottom like that. So it will fold open if you need it to, which is also very good. But I will probably use this to go book shopping in. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, so far the first two items, definitely useful, definitely pretty, and I will definitely be using. So we're off to a good start, Fairy Loot. Gilded pin. Oh, I have not read Gilded. I am not super interested in it either. This is like a hand holding up a kind of city in a cage. So this is the Gilded pin. 
it's pretty enough. It's fairly simple, fairly small. Like I said, again, I'm not super interested in reading this book. Uh, Marissa Mayer, I believe, Gilded is by, who wrote like Red Queen, which I have never been interested in. Just not really interested in the author in general. A little bit too young YA skewing for me and a bit too kind of generic YA. And I don't even mean that as like an insult, just like in general for me feels not like my type of stuff. All the Gilded like special editions were coming out a few months ago, or I don't know if it was longer than that. And I was just not interested. So, um, Gilded pin I will not be using, but it's it's pretty enough for what it is. Romeo and Juliet list pad. These violent lights have violent ends. Is on every single one. <laughs> so this is the list pad. It's just a feather with the, these violent lights have violent ends quote at the bottom, and then a list pad. It is literally what it says on the tin. Um. To be honest, I will never say no to something like this. I love a good list pad. I do think it's odd that the check marks are not at the beginning. You you write and then the check mark is at the end. That's not usual for a to-do list. Yeah, I mean, useful enough. I do have a couple of things like this that I've not even made my way through yet from both Illumicrate and Fairy Loot. I'd say like a solid item, especially for someone like me who was very organized and like likes to make lists kind of like every day. I wouldn't say there's a lot of room to write something. I have quite big handwriting, so there's not like actually loads of room to write like a full thing that I wanna do. So it would have to be something for like a grocery list or something, I guess. The feather kind of takes up more room than it needs to, you know? I think now it's just the tarot cards. Oh, 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 oh. And there is another item. Oh. I'm getting these nails off tomorrow because I had them for graduation and they've been on way too long and I just cannot do anything with them now because they're long now because they've grown out. Um, they were fine when I first got them but they're starting to irritate me. Okay, next up we have the next in the mythological bookmarks. So these I think are my favourite like recurring item that we're getting now. Here we have it. This one obviously is Anubis from Egyptology. Not sure who this is, but she is gorgeous. Foiling, the artwork. Honestly, these are my favorite types of bookmarks now because I love mythology so much. Uh, let's have a look at the, the spoiler card. Anansi and Apate. Okay, so it's not Anubis, but I think maybe Anansi or Apate are like different names for Anubis possibly. Because there's definitely hieroglyphs around it or hieroglyphics around the person. This is a celestial jewellery box. The design is inspired by the featured book of the month, which we haven't unboxed yet. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet is Romeo and Juliet. Bookshelf Tote is just a lot of different fandoms, Gilded. And then yeah, the bookmarks are Anansi and Apate. I don't know who Anansi is. Oh, I have to look this up. Maybe Anansi is the lady because it says Anansi is an Aken or Aken folktale, the Akan god of stories, wisdom, knowledge, and possibly creation. He often takes the shape of a spider. I'm not sure that this is correct. Maybe they've misprinted the names of the gods. Who's Apate? So in Greek mythology, Apate was the personification of deceit. Her mother was Nyx, the personification of night. So may this could be Apate, but I don't think this is Anansi. I think this is Anubis. <laughs> I think Anansi, they've misprinted. It's, yeah, it says takes the shape of a spider. This is not a spider, this is Anubis. <laughs> so I think they've misprinted that. Um, I think it should be Anubis and Apate, but that's fine, I guess, sure. And then we have the tarot cards, which are from uh, Only a Monster, which was their January book, which I really, really liked. And I gave like four stars, uh, 4.5 stars actually. So these are from Only a Monster by Vanessa Len, and I love this artwork. Um, I think they've been using this artist on the um, end papers possibly because I kind of recognize the art style. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tarot cards. Beautiful, beautiful artwork on everything as per usual fairy loot. I have a feeling that the book is called Belladonna. That is my gut feeling. I think that it is called Belladonna. Oh, it's, oh, I don't really like the, oh, it's a, oh, okay. So we have artwork of the book with the uh, author letter on the back. Fairy Scoop, which has the interview with the author and it tells you what's different about our um, edition. And then we have the little bookmark that matches the uh, 
spoiler card. Oh, okay. I was disappointed because I thought it had black, plain sprayed edges, but it does in fact have ombre sprayed edges. Um, I only saw this when I was taking it out. Um, so it's blue into orange, which is quite pretty actually. I really like that color combination. This is a violet made of thorns. A violet? Oh no, just a violet made of thorns, which I've heard some good stuff about, if I remember correctly. I don't actually... Right, I'm gonna get the July book out because I hadn't heard of the July book. So this was the July book, The Darkening. I really liked the foiling on this and I did like the edges. I think they're okay. They're like feathers, which is fine. And the artwork was good. It was fine, but I hadn't heard of this. However, this I have heard of. I really, really like this cover. I love these color combinations. I love that it like translates from the color combinations into there. We do have a signed book plate, weirdly, instead of it being signed. Oh, okay. This is the underneath. I love underneath covers like this, like naked hardbacks like this. This very much reminds me of the Nevermore series as well as the House in the Cerulean Sea. Like I think might only be the Illuminate editions that have this underneath, but, but the Nevermore series, like the normal hardbacks have stuff like this underneath. All like kind of architecture, kind of like lots of blocks, no like harsh lines, it's all just colored in. I really like this. And then we do have artwork on the end papers, which weirdly is the exact same artwork as this, which does not usually happen. Definitely does not usually happen. So we have, this is the first end paper, and then this as the second end paper. Probably the love interest, let's be honest. And again, yeah, we have a, we have a, a book plate instead of a normal signing. We have a very intricate looking map, very busy looking map. So this is by Gina Chen. So it's another Asian fantasy, I think. And let's get to the synopsis. So Violet is a prophet and a liar, influencing the royal court with her cleverly phrased and not always true divinations. Honesty is for suckers, like the oh so not charming Prince Cyrus, who plans to strip Violet of her official role once he's crowned at the end of the summer, unless Violet does something about it. But when the king asks her to falsely prophesy Cyrus's love story for an upcoming ball, Violet awakens a dread and curse, one that will either end in damnation or salvation for the kingdom, all depending on the prince's choice of future bride. Violet faces her own choice, seize control of her destiny no matter the cost, or give in to an ill-fated attraction growing between her and Cyrus. Violet's wits may protect her in the cutthroat court, but they can't change her fate. And as the boundary between hatred and love grows ever thinner with the prince, Violet must untangle a wicked web of deceit to save herself and the kingdom will doom them all. So yeah, YA fantasy, obviously because this is a YA box, but this seems quite good to me. I always love a good enemies to lovers, not always a fan of when they really kind of point it out in the synopsis. Cause it's like, yeah, we, we already knew, you know, we, we knew it was gonna be enemies to lovers from the synopsis. So you didn't need to like spell it out for us. That always puts me off. And then let's be honest, I'm not gonna read this for a good while because I need to catch up on my book box stuff anyway. I'm hoping, well, I'm not hoping because it's gonna happen, but usually I forget most of the synopsis by the time I actually get around to reading it, which is a good thing to be honest. I've just popped it, just popped it there on the first page. But this, the, the writing is huge as well. I don't know if it's obvious to you on camera, but this writing is gigantic. I do like this ombre edge. You know, I do like simplicity. I know I always, always, always go on about how like, I don't want a block sprayed edge. A block sprayed edge can work. It can, don't sue me, it can work. I just think it's it rarely works. Depends how intricate the actual cover itself is. Depends how intricate the thing under the dust jacket is. Depends on every all of all these other elements that come into the actual book itself. Depends on all these things. And it can work. And I actually personally quite like the simplicity of this ombre, especially, oh, and I did not mention it does have a ribbon bookmark as well. It has a little blue ribbon bookmark, which is quite nice. Always love a ribbon bookmark. With the intricacy of this cover, which I, I mean, I guess some people wouldn't think it's intricate, but uh, with like, a, I feel like there is quite a bit going on with the title. I like that the, the, the ombre matches from the blue to the red or orangey down here, like because it matches up and it's so simple. It, it, it's more effective, I think. So I am actually pretty happy with this. Damn, this is the August book and I haven't even done the March book box battle yet. So that's March, April, May, June, July. <laughs> I'm now a 
officially six months behind, but it's fine because, I, I, and it genuinely is fine. I've gone through phases of feeling bad about it and feeling like, oh, I actually really wanna do this. But I know that I'm busy and I know that I've got stuff going on. So it's not the end of the world. It's gonna get done. At the end of the day, I'm gonna read the books and I'm gonna do the videos and you will just have to get them when you get them. And I know you guys will enjoy them regardless, so. It's all good. Yes, that was it for my unboxing for August Fairy I hope you have enjoyed. I am not fully back on my bullshit at yet, at, at present. I am just trying to do unboxings when I can because I know that's kind of like my main thing on this channel. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you do have anything to say and let me know in the comments, if you have a favorite item from this box, what did you think of the edges? Are you still not a fan even though it's simple? All of my links are in the description if you wanna check them out. My Patreon is still up and running. I'm not completely, uh, you know, devoid of content. There is some content over on Patreon and everyone there is amazing. Hence this crab. Have you seen this crab? This crab is amazing. It has all of the people that are on my top tier on Patreon and they have been my biggest supporters from day one when I started it back in September, which is crazy because that's nearly a year now. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to do something for my anniversary. Oh my gosh. I've got so many plans. Um, so yeah, check that out in the description. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, everyone, everyone on this crab, as well as everyone else on my Patreon. You guys are my biggest supporters and I could not do this without you. Yes, that is it. Goodbye. <laughs>